Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and our Newcastle United series as we continue our unbeaten start to the season, or our perfect record at the start of the season actually. We've now won five straight Premier League games, a Champions League match and the Community Shield. We kick off another competition with the Carabao Cup against Huddersfield at home today. Then we've got Wolves and Anderlecht to come, so it should be three more victories at least on paper. Um, of course, we did set a new record for the most consecutive Premier League wins in our last game so hopefully we can keep that going and set a record that will take a very long time to beat but the team going out there today does have some squad rotation in it because it's a Carabao Cup and because somebody in the comments last episode said that they hated how little I rotate the team so we are doing that now and we've got Pinamonte, Coutrone and Keane all up front uh, the first time that they've been put back together this season. We've got Grujic or Gruic, I can't remember, somebody told me how to pronounce his name, I've forgotten already. And Modric in midfield with Masuaku, Madsbeck, Smalling, Lemos and Carmona in defence. So a completely changed back three uh, and Skufe in goal. Actually, I'm going to bring Holding in for Lemos to make it a completely changed back three. Um, and Skufe finally back in goal. He may well get a run out for a few games games depending on how well he does in this one corner from Modric sent in towards Beck but the goalkeeper comes out to claim it Matt Sells our former player he's now gonna punt the ball down the field I imagine he's taken a very long time to do it but he does eventually get it out straight to Mads Beck here's Carmona on the right flank captain for today picks out Modric he then sends it back to Rob Holding Good diagonal ball finds Masuaku as he charges down the left flank. He's got players in the middle. He puts the ball across and it's hit the woodwork there before LaSalle's just pumps the ball out of play. Throwing from Flanagan. Ball goes uh, towards the Inatri, but Pinamonte's stolen it. And what a ball to Moise Kane that is from uh, Pinamonte. Coutrone on the far side pulls it back to Keane and he does finish a chance off. The old trio combining here to give us the lead against Huddersfield. Gruwich finds Modric. Ball out wide to Carmona. Got a defender to beat here, but he is pretty good at that, and he does beat the defender. Then it's deep ball in. Coutrone arriving, but the ball's gone straight into the back of the net there. I think the referee is going to blow his whistle, and he has. It has been disallowed. It was a Carmona goal, but I think Coutrone must have pushed the goalkeeper out of the way. Masawaku finds Pinamonte. Masawaku again puts the ball in, Kutron's in there, comes out towards Modric. He finds Masawaku once more, ball whipped him once more. LaSalle's down to Kutron, edge of the area, goes for goal and it's just high and wide. Nearly half time, it's still only 1-0. Pretty comical goal kick there but it did go to Flanagan. Now Classy finds Pozo, Bernassa, out wide to Bashilla. Did have a man running down the left, but they've given the ball away to Pinamonte instead. It was well intercepted. He puts a brilliant ball over to Moise Keane. Coutrone's in the middle. Keane looks for him now. Coutrone is there. Been forced wide, and Ian Acho clears his cross away. But Masuaku will surely get in a deep cross. Instead, he goes to midfield. It's Modric. Finds Carmona on the right flank. He then puts the ball in. Coutrone arriving. Cleared out again. Bashilla further on. Modric has the ball. I would like the second goal, and there's Pinamonte to deliver it, and he does, but the flag goes up, and it's the second goal we've had ruled out in this first half. Oh, Grujic has gone in for a tackle there, and he's got a second in the card. That's the third player we've had sent off already this season, and with a 1-0 lead, all that separates the teams, it could be dangerous. Bakayoko, risky player to bring on when you've already lost a man to a card, but... Not a lot else we can do, so it's Keane and Pidamonte up front on their own for the last half an hour. Sells sends the ball forward. Easily into the path of our team. Masuaku controls it. No pressure from Huddersfield there. And the ball goes over the top. Pidamonte doesn't get there ahead of the Sells. Ball goes back to Sells. Tuan Zebe further forward to Pozo. Errorless error with that pass there. And now Keane's got it after a good ball by holding. Keane takes it to the corner flag, puts a cross in, easy clearance by Classy. Banassa further away, but they just are not keeping players up the field, Huddersfield. And here's Keane in down the right flank, puts the ball across, Masuaku with the header, and we've missed another easy chance. Ten minutes to go, we've got a free kick, Modric puts it in, Keane's in there, but the ball cleared away. Uh, Beck should get to that, and does, now Modric again. Plays it back to Beck, Modric. Goes back to holding this time. 
power wide. I'm surprised Modric has kept his fitness in this game, but he has managed to. And here's Keane, edge of the area, ball cleared out, holding wins it though. He's trying to go down the right flank, puts the cross in, and the keeper does claim that as he would expect him to. Um, I am a bit nervous, 10 minutes to go, we've got 10 men, we've made all of our changes, but there is just still that one goal in it. And now Pozo's on the attack, Otamendi with a brilliant clearance and he's released Moisey Keane, one on one with the keeper Keane and he fires it through his legs to make it 2-0. Two on the day for Keane and that will take us to the next round. Holding with the throw in, finds Moisey Keane, ball given away actually, now moves Sonder down the line. Ian Acho has it. Good counter-attack here from Huddersfield. They're playing a lot more aggressively. Kachunga puts the ball across and Bashilla is there, but he's just hooked that wide of the post. Late corner. Modric puts it in. Otamendi's there and he's just missed another easy chance. Just 10 seconds left in this game and we should keep the clean sheet, which I think for me means Skufe can start the next game as well. It's been a good performance, we've been able to rest a few key players and yet we've continued our 100% start to the league. Good to see Keane get a couple of goals as well and be named man of the match. Putting his name into contention for a league start because he has been playing reasonably well when we've given him a run out. Um, so I'll we'll have to have a think about who to play in our next Premier League game. I'm going to give a warning to Gruwich for that red card I would really like for them to stop soon although we are saving a lot of money on wages by finding players um, oh Sanabria wants playing time I think Sanabria can get some playing time we've seen Keane do well we've seen Kane do well let's let the other three fight it out newly promoted Wolves are our next opponents and today we've got Sanabria, Keane and Kane all starting up front so Coutrone and Pinamonte have dropped to the bench Bakayoko and Fernandez both starting in central midfield with Masuaku, Otamendi, Rugani, Lemos and Carmona in defence we've got Scufe uh, retaining his position in goal so club captain Tom Heaton drops to the bench Keane was on a run then, but a player has gone through the back and for once it could be an opposition team that gets a red card and it is. Wolves, who've made a decent start, have now gone down to 10 men. We've got a free kick. Masuaku in Otamendi with a free header. We have missed so many free headers in the last couple of games and we need to be more clinical. Well, we're now into the second half. Nothing has happened since that early chance. Otamendi's got the ball here though. There's still 40 minutes. We just need one goal, I think, and that will probably be enough. Um, but against 10 men, Wolves, who are newly promoted, we should be winning this game a lot more easily than we are at the moment. Here's Gedson, sends the ball down the wing for Masuaku. Sanabria's been played in, there's a foot in there, and Sanabria goes over it. We've got a chance from the penalty spot. It should be Harry Kane taking this one, I think, um, for the chance to give us a lead. He's been on form, and it's saved. The most informed man in the league has missed a penalty, and it remains nil-nil. An hour gone now, I've brought on Coutrone and Pinamonte for uh, Keane and Sanabria. Here's Kane, puts a cross in towards Pinamonte, but Ward able to take the catch reasonably comfortably. Um, I mean, how costly could that penalty miss be if we don't get a goal here? It is surely just a matter of time, but ultimately that time could run out. Gedson with a good tackle there has found Coutrone. He's got Pinamonte in the middle, instead he goes to Bakayoko. Gedson round the corner for Harry Kane. Can he make up for the penalty miss? He looks for Coutrone and from point blank range, the substitute has done it. Kane making up for the penalty miss with a great assist and we do now have our breakthrough. 15 minutes to go, we're still only 1-0 up but Masuaku trying to make it 2, couldn't pick out Kane there and Lawrence clears it away. Not a lot of threat coming for Wolves at the moment, we do need to be careful. Bakayoko out to holding, now Harry Kane, can he deliver another brilliant cross? He puts it in, Pinamonte this time is there for the goal and the changes up front have definitely made the business. Kane remaining on the pitch, getting two assists and both of the players that came off the bench getting goals to make it 2-0 and give us another victory at the start of this season. Well, there is a full-time whistle, a 2-0 win in the end. Not the most impressive performance, but we got the three points, and that is all that matters. Um, at least this time it wasn't us that had the man sent off. It was the opposition. We've now got a game against Anderlecht in the Champions League still to go. But in terms of the league, you can see we've got an achievement there for top form. But we are six wins from six games, five points clear of any of our nearest opponents and we are looking very very strong 
Well, the last match of today's episode is against Anderlecht. We're away from home. We're on excellent form. Anderlecht did lose to Real Madrid by four goals. So I'm expecting us to win this one as well. We've got Sanabria, Coutrone and Kane up front. So Pinamonte is still on the bench despite scoring in his last game. Bakayoko is joined by Modric with Masuaku, Otamendi, Rigani, Lemos and Carmona in defence. And Scufe continuing in goal after clean sheets in his last two games. Corner goes in from Modric. Otamendi's there and this time he does manage to get the header into the back of the net and give us an early lead against Anderlecht. And that is a very, very nice move. Modric getting the assist this time, but a good header at the near post. We've got a free kick to defend here. Stan Chu with the ball and it's just gone wide. I thought that little delay there might have meant a penalty, but we have escaped. Anderlecht put the ball in. Here's Thelin. Ball goes back. It's Hanny. Got a knock. A champong across to comes. Now Stanchu could have a strike. Instead he picks out Najar in a good position. Ball goes in. Lemos with a nice clearance out. And then we get it further away. But the pressure still on by Anderlecht. who've actually looked quite good so far in this game. Ball goes through but an easy stop for Scufe. Um, shortly after kickoff Scufe actually made a very, very good stop. And he has impressed me in the last couple of games. Here's Carmona though. Ball over the top. Coutrone could be in behind but they've managed to get possession back, Trebel out to a Champong, beats the defender, taking it down the left flank, puts the ball in and it's gone well wide. Early in the second half here is Otamendi brings the ball out of defence towards Bakayoko, he then pushes it out wide for Masuaku, great ball over the top and Keen somehow doesn't have the pace over the defender Kara but he's won the ball anyway, Kutron from point blank range fires it in at the near post past the goalkeeper 4-2-0 a very good finish from him and we are surely going to cruise towards another victory Carmona with the throw in finds Harry Kane he's had a quiet time here's Masuaku in for Keane players at the back stick puts it across Carmona arriving has somehow missed what was surely an open goal he hit it into the goalkeeper instead of just touching it into an empty net Najar puts the ball into Stanchu here's Zahor Ball out wide to a Champong on a yellow card. I think Carmona facing him up is also on a yellow and he's tripped him up there. It's going to be another red card. And I think it's at four or five already this season. It's unbelievable that we are managing to remain 100% record here with all the wins. Despite having so many red cards. And I'm disciplining everybody who gets carded. And it just doesn't seem to be making any difference whatsoever. I'm going to take Coutrone off and bring Holding on at right wing back for this one. Uh, may as well bring on Pinamonte for Kane as well. So we've got fresh legs up front. But it's really frustrating that we're getting so many red cards. And I don't really know why. I could tell the players to ease off the tackling. But I, I, mean, I, I don't think that would help with our tactic. Here's the ball in. Cleared out but it comes to Holding once more. He puts it out wide to Masuaku, Rigani, back to Masuaku, could have a shot. Instead he plays it in and it's easily picked up by Pirard. Ten minutes to go with ten men here, just the two up front which is always frustrating. Ball goes forward, good header by Rigani. Keane doesn't manage to get there when he really should have. It's holding at right wing back. Trying to bring the ball forward and he plays it over the top and it's in for Pinamonte. The defence completely switched off and Pinamonte there should have scored despite the tight angle. Lemos with the 90th minute free kick in towards Pinamonte, cleared out by Kara. Stanchu puts it out wide to a Champong. Here comes danger from this attack here and Chipu, Chipchu. Attacks down the right, puts the ball in, but Scufe with a nice stop. This will make it three straight clean sheets for Scufe as well, who is making a very good claim for being the number one goalkeeper. Ball comes back to him, he launches it forward, gives it away really. Here's Cums, out wide, excellent ball over the top, a chain pong has it. Puts a cross in deep, and it's hit the crossbar, Lemos clears it, holding further away, and that clean sheet just about remains perfectly clean. Here's Modric, out wide. To Holding, puts the ball in, and there's a full-time whistle. A good 2-0 win. It could and should have been more, but that's been the story of today's episode. Maybe some of the shine from our opening games wearing off a little bit here. But we have won, and we get yet another achievement. They are rolling in right now, but we have won another game. Um, 
going to issue a warning to Carmona. We're not yet at a stage where I'm going to find players for two yellows, but we are not far away from it either. If we have a quick look at the schedule for this season so far. You can see it's been a stunning start to the season on every single front. Um, we've only conceded one goal in our last seven matches. Um, two in our last eight, really. It's been very, very impressive. But next up, we go away to Anfield and the Bernabeu. So very, very big matches to come. Make sure to subscribe so that you see those matches in a couple of days' time. Drop a like on this video if you're enjoying the start to this season. And don't forget to me follow me on to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. But until next time, see ya.